In recent times, debates has resurfaced whether or not computer games is harmful or simply just a waste of time. Some, however, would say that this is not only incorrect, but as a matter of fact, the opposite is true. That people may greatly benefit from playing or experiencing games. This discussion is important since whether or not a certain medium poses a risk to or society or the individual is important in and of itself. This is because if the media is harmful, then we need to identify the harmful aspect and correct it. If, however, it is not, it should not be held back unnecessary. Gamers are more prone to being overweight or malnourished. Nintendo thumbs are caused by continuous movements of the fingers and the hands and can cause weakening in the tendons and joints. Aching back comes as a result of sitting with slouched back all day. A lot of game companies have psychologists hired to design a game to be as addictive as possible. Often this gets people so addicted to a game that they forget basic urges like food, sleep and hydration. After playing a violent game, people are more prone to violent thoughts. But in the long time run, people get less violent due to stress relief. The fast pace of many games decreases the time taken from information input to reactionary output. It is shown and used in some clinics that your hand-eye coordination will greatly improve by playing video games, especially on the console like the Wii. When having to achieve a goal in a multiplayer game, it is paramount to communicate with other players. As with communication skills, when one has to achieve a goal in an online game, he must be able to work together as a team. In those instances, you often need a leader to organize a smaller or bigger group to work together. In video games, players are constantly faced with challenges. These challenges rarely have clear-cut solutions. Often these games have a feature of some sort, where you need to create something. You usually need to create these specific items to overcome certain obstacles. In many games, either short-time memory or long-term memory is necessary. In most strategy games, one must remember what every aspect of the game does, but also what one's opponent is doing. According to the con about the back problems, only applies when one sits slouched all day and it is shown that a little bit of slouching is healthy. So for our conclusion, with all we found out, a pinch of salt in your soup adds a great taste, but a kilo will probably kill you. <laughs>